and then he dies. And the beautiful gift is that Mark Schwann wrote that, you know, this great episode where my brother comes and walks me through the gates, you know, into heaven. Who wouldn't be, you know, I cried when I read the script because um, I love redemption and we all have sins and we all want to be loved and we all want to be forgiven and we all don't want to die alone. Nobody wants to be in a bed and die alone. Dan Scott in the end didn't die alone. He had people around him who loved him. Even if they hated him at the same time, they still loved him. And they saw how hard he tried to earn their love again because of all the terrible things that he'd done in his life. But he'd also done wonderful things. So um, it was beautiful. I thought it was uh, a poetic ending and a just ending. And I've never been more grateful in my life than when I read that episode and said, I'm glad I'm dying. On an episode that isn't the last episode, there's two more episodes after yeah. that. So yeah. that if it was the final episode, it would have been about the showing. But because it was two episodes before, it was about Dan having his moment and then the show ending, so that it was separated. Which gave me um, what I thought was a beautiful homage to the hard work I've done creating this character and creating all the feelings that you guys have for him. Which is, you know, obviously I'm a kooky and weird dude because I'm an actor, but the character was a profoundly powerful, you know, deeply, you know, troubled individual that has left an imprint on you guys on this show. So um, I'm so grateful. Wasn't me.